Today on Tau Flitter Mouse, we're going to bring you along for the testing of these unique carbon fiber shotgun slugs on You Make It, We Mock It. Today's test samples were sent to us by Gresham Custom Concepts. These were described to me as carbon fiber-ish, which probably means they use carbon fiber filament in the production of these prototypes. We were sent seven of these projectiles and the weights did vary a little bit from slug to slug from 15 grams some of them weighing up to 20 grams. Although the slugs look identical outside, internally they are ballast with steel balls of varying weights and numbers. For the sake of testing, it is ideal to have projectiles that are identical, but we'll try to make these work. We will be using sabos with these so there won't be any direct contact with the barrel. The fit is perfect, so we should have good engagement with the rifling. My biggest concern was whether or not these would be strong enough to handle the high G-Shock loads going from zero to whatever speed in the length of a barrel. My prediction was there were just going to be dust coming out of the barrel. We'll see if I'm right or not. Welcome back, back to Alfleda Crew. We got something new for you here today. It's sent to us by uh, Rob and Tyler Gresham. Um, they want us to try these out and see how they perform. Um, supposedly they're carbon fiber-ish. <laughs> that's, so, <laughs> that's what I was told. Anyway, we're gonna we got some different weights. Uh, we got um, different powder loads. We're gonna start from the lightest and work our way up and see if they hold together or shatter or fly straight or wobble or yeah or never know something we, we don't know. <laughs> we've been surprised before. Yeah. Let's, let's hope for a good outcome on this one. Okay, let's do it. All right, let's do it. This, which one's the first one you got? 15 grains and 15 grams. Yes, sir. Okay. I am ready. All right, here we go. It seemed to hold together. For the first test, we used a very light powder load and we had a velocity of maybe 300 feet per second. Very slow. And because it had a low velocity, it also had a low spin rate, so the projectile didn't have very good stability. But the good news is the slug did not shatter. It held up very well. In fact, even after hitting the Kevlar panel, it was still in the same condition as it was before it was shot. That gave me a lot more confidence because I thought we're going to have a, there's a good chance these things might shatter just from the, you know, 12,000 PSI. This one was loaded very light. So we probably had 4,000 PSI or something like that. Mm -hmm. And it survived, it held up very well. Very well, that, that's uh, reloadable. Wad acted just like it was supposed to. Yeah, it blossomed up though perfectly. Not too bad. That's pretty good. That's pretty lightweight. We, st we had a little bit of unburned uh, powder and... Yeah. So we're gonna, we're gonna bump it up a little bit on the next one. Okay. Next one is 20 grams. 20 grains and 15, right? Yes. There we go. Wow. Wow. In test number two, we could see what happens when we add a little more velocity. The slug is now very stable in flight. Now the slug is still traveling at a subsonic speed, but it does have the same energy, the same mass and velocity as a 45 ACP bullet. Now again, the slug didn't shatter when it was shot, but what does it look like inside the vest now? Come out of there, you little booty. There we are, there we are. Okay. Ah, once again, undamaged. Just cover with some Kevlar there. Yeah, I think maybe his little nose piece came off. Ah, yeah. This is exposing a little uh, steel ball there. Okay, I don't know what he had in there. Hmm. 15 and 20. Yes. 15 grains, 20, no, 20 grains, 15 grams. There we go. There we go. Okay, that one. Uh, that one skipped off up there. Yeah, let's see what that looked like. Although we had decent stability on this shot, the accuracy was a little bit off. Still, it isn't terrible for a prototype never shot before projectile, but this gives you an idea of the frustration of using different weight bullets with different powder loads 
and you often end up just chasing your tail trying to find the point of impact. Okay, next is 25 grains and 15 gram load. I'm ready when you are. Again, we see a little deviation from the point of aim. I do have to say I'm impressed with the durability of these slugs so far. Now, Gresham doesn't sell these slugs, obviously, but they do make custom parts. And if you need something with this kind of durability, you now know where to go to get your prototype part made. Definitely flying to the right. Uh, it's hard, you know, you don't wanna just, first one flying to the right and make an adjustment. It could have been a fluke. But we're starting to see a trend that they want to fly to the right. Yeah. And you can see where that, the first one impacted, it skidded along the side. Right there. The second one passed through, what would you be, like your cheek, I guess, and your jawbone. Jawbone. Yeah. Exited here. And this there is it is. we walked up on it. Still in uh, pretty good condition, or? Oh, man, they're perfect. Yeah, wow. Things are harder than woodpecker lips. <laughs> 20 grains, 19 gram projectile. Life's so much easier when they're all the same, folks. Just saying. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, you gonna aim a little to the left this time? What's that? Are you gonna aim a little to the left? I'm gonna give it some of that California windage. Okay. Aim for the left. Okay. 874 feet per second. All right. Now this projectile weighs 19 grams or just under 300 grains. And using 20 grains of long shot, we don't have a super fast projectile, but it seems to be the right combination for very good accuracy. Okay, I knew that would happen. It just yeah. proved us wrong. Point of aim, point of impact. Because he was brought it over a little because the last couple were to the right so it's like well let's aim a little to the left and of course it proved us wrong there yeah anyway no damage yeah still subsonic we've got some loaded with like 30 grains of powder coming up that if those we may, may be may able to break the sound barrier here so danny's aiming at the heart what's the next one it's a 20 20 20 20 gram 20 grains are we ready? I'm ready. 12.07. Actually did something. <laughs> okay, well, I had some issues with the high-speed camera. The trigger didn't trigger button didn't work, so I didn't record that one. So, okay, what happened? We got Dan? some results here. You yeah. Might want to Can you swing it up? Over the top here a little bit because it will oh. fall out. Here's another one here on the table. So I count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of these little balls. Well, those things are really loaded down. Those are BBs. It, it, it held together, we know that. We'll have to shoot that again with the maxi load. All right, let's dump this out and see what comes out of it. It disintegrated though. Oh yeah, carbon. Went all over the place. Oh, there's another one. Wow. They're like little, are they steel, right? Not lead? Uh, almost. We gotta be steel I didn't, I didn't steel think there was that much of that in there. Steel or aluminum? Yeah. Probably steel. All right, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wow. That's very interesting. 10, 11. Wow. You know, okay. Loaded those up. Yeah. Let's, okay, let's, we got one more. I'll make sure the high-speed camera triggers this time. Very frustrating. Okay, what what is this one? This is 30 and 18. 30 and 18? Yep. Oh, okay. Come on. High-speed camera worked this time. Wow. 16.58. <laughs> Oh, I didn't think it would go that fast. Stirred up the birds out there. Yeah. 
Wow. Now that one was screaming. That was my Hail Mary one. You know, I thought, this is going to blow it apart. This is going to break it up. Nope. It held together. Held together. Hit a little low. Two and a half inches low. My point of aim was right in here. Okay. But yeah. Variable loads, variable points of impact. So. Yeah. Uh, it's it's tough when they're all. You, ideally, if if you you want to send us something, make them all exactly the same. It yeah. makes life a lot easier for us. And at least ten of them. Well, yeah, about eight to ten. Eight to ten. That way we can. Yeah. Figure out. Kentucky wind. So anyway. Anyway, the main thing was the performance, whether they'd hold together or not, and they seemed to do pretty good. Yeah. Even at that I, speed. I, I was expecting just disaster out here. Yeah. You know, I, I really thought, I didn't give these, you know, I, you know, okay, the design looks good and everything, but is this gonna break apart from the, from that high pressure? That thing was screaming, that, and that proved he could have loaded that thing to 2,000 feet per second and it would have held together. You're like a woodpecker on crack. Yeah, you and your woodpeckers. <laughs> <laughs> you think well, they can hold up to that? It's got to be one tough critter. Yeah, well, there you go. Very interesting design. Thank you. Thank you very much. It was interesting. Easy to shoot. Yeah, imagine not much recoil. Not much recoil, even at that 1,600 and something feet. Yeah. I'm glad I loaded, supercharged that one. Got them supersonic and they, they were still doing good. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for coming along with us for this test. If you appreciate the effort we put into this video, please like the video. If you have an issue with it, let us know. We'll discuss it somehow. We'd like to take the time to thank our Patreon supporters for their ongoing support. And as I've said before, things are improving, at least for our channel on YouTube, and revenue is starting to improve again. While it seems every other channel is asking for more and more and more Patreon support, we're actually telling our Patreon supporters to pare back or eliminate their pledge entirely because things have gotten that much better. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.